Throughout history, accounts of giants have persisted in myths, legends, and ancient texts, captivating the human imagination. While these stories were often dismissed as mere folklore, recent discoveries and genetic studies have shed new light on the existence of ancient giants and the enigmatic origins of human populations. From the unearthing of colossal bones in France to the excavation of burial sites in America's heartland, shreds of evidence continue to emerge, challenging our understanding of human evolution and raising intriguing questions about the existence of a lost race of giants. Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind the proof of giants and the mysteries that lie within our ancient past. Uncovering the Castle Now Giant, examining the bones of an ancient colossus. It was a chilly winter in 1890 when the brilliant anthropologist George Vacher de la Pouge uncovered three bone fragments, a humerus, tibia, and femoral midshaft. In the sediments surrounding a Bronze Age burial tumulus in Castelnau de la France, little did he know that those bones held the potential to rewrite history and reveal the existence of one of the largest humans ever known. De La Pouge's mind was racing with excitement as he examined the bones and estimated the colossal individual to have stood a mind-boggling 3.5 meters tall. Can you imagine encountering someone towering over us like that? The journal La Nature published his groundbreaking findings, complete with an engraving that showcased the giant bones next to a regular-sized humerus. It was a visual testament to the sheer magnitude of this ancient giant. Describing the bones in intricate detail, De La Pouge imagined their undeniable human origin, despite their gargantuan size. The first bone, a femur shaft, was 14 centimeters in length, almost cylindrical, with a circumference of 16 centimeters. Then came the middle and upper part of a tibia, boasting a circumference of 13 centimeters at the nutrient foramen and measuring 26 centimeters in length. The third bone, identified as the lower part of a humerus, captured the attention of anatomists with its exceptional features. These bones were not simply enlarged replicas. Their volumes and lengths were more than double the norm. Based on anatomical points, it was estimated that this extraordinary individual could have stood around 3.5 meters tall, a truly colossal figure from our distant past. The bones of the Castle Now Giant underwent rigorous scrutiny at the University of Montpellier, Renowned experts like M. Sabatier, a professor of zoology, and M. Delage, a professor of paleontology, eagerly examined the bones, joined by other talented anatomists. Their collective efforts aimed to uncover the secrets held within these extraordinary remains. In 1892, Dr. Paul Louis Andre Kiner, a professor of pathological anatomy at Montpellier School of Medicine, undertook a meticulous study of the bones. While acknowledging that they represented a very tall race, he couldn't help but find their dimensions abnormal, suggesting a potential morbid growth. The plot thickened, leaving us with even more questions about this ancient giant's true nature. Fast forward to 1894, and the press buzzed with reports of further discoveries in Montpellier, just five kilometers southwest of Castelnau. Imagine this scene as workers excavating a waterworks reservoir stumble upon the bones of human giants. Skulls with circumference measurements of 28, 31, and 32 inches grabbed attention, alongside other colossal bones, painting a picture of a race of men reaching towering heights between 10 and 15 feet. These extraordinary remains were said to have been sent to the prestigious Paris Academy for further examination. The Captivating Saga of Lovelock Cave Giants Once upon a time, in the enchanting world of Native American lore, a captivating tale of giants unfolded. Among the tribes, stories were whispered about a race of colossal beings embodying both bravery and barbarism. One tribe in particular, the Paute, nestled in the vast Nevada region, held an ancient legend that spoke of the Siteka, known as the Red-Haired Giants. The very name hinted at their unusual dietary habits, as Siteka translated to Tule eaters. According to the legend, these towering giants emerged from a distant island believed to have been formed by the formidable Tule plants. However, instead of coexisting peacefully, these colossal beings chose a path of terror and devastation. 
inflicting fear upon the tribes. In response, the tribes united to confront the giant, ultimately forcing them into a secluded cave. Seizing the moment, the tribes set ablaze the entrance, effectively suffocating the giants and putting an end to their reign of terror. As legends often do, the tale of Site Ka intertwined with reality, paving the way for intriguing archaeological discoveries in the present day. It was in the year 1886 that a mining engineer by the name of John T. Reed first caught wind of this captivating legend from the Paiute tribe near Lovelock, Nevada. Intrigued by their accounts, Reed was informed that the fabled cave lay in close proximity, igniting his curiosity to explore its secrets. However, before Reed could embark on his own excavation, news of the cave's potential guano deposits spread like wildfire, capturing the attention of eager prospectors. Two miners, David Pugh and James Hart, captivated by the allure of hidden treasures, embarked on their own digging expedition in 1911, initially focusing on the surface layer. Yet, as they delved deeper into the depths of the cave, they stumbled upon something extraordinary. Strange objects emerged from the earth, urging them to pause and consider the significance of their findings. This prompted an official excavation led by the esteemed University of California in 1912, with subsequent efforts in 1924. The discoveries that emerged from Lovelock Cave were nothing short of astonishing. The Extraordinary Legacy of the Nephilim These extraordinary beings were not mere mortals, but the product of a remarkable union between fallen angels, known as the Watchers, and mortal women. The blurred boundaries between the celestial and the earthly gave birth to a race that stood as living monuments to their extraordinary origins. But this is just the beginning of their story. The Book of Enoch, another ancient manuscript, provides further insight into these enigmatic giants. It reveals a mesmerizing account of the Watchers descending to Earth, seduced by the allure of human women. Their interbreeding resulted in the birth of the awe-inspiring Nephilim giants, majestic creatures of immense power who towered over ordinary mortals. In the Book of Enoch, the Nephilim are described as towering giants, reaching an astounding height of 300 cubits. That's an incredible 450 feet if we assume a cubit to be 18 inches. The Quran also speaks of giants, with the people of Aid described as towering beings, the tallest among them standing at a staggering 100 feet. Islamic legend tells of their fate, as they were banished to the depths of hell after rejecting warnings and defying the divine. Turning to the Bible, we explore the post-flood era for any traces of these colossal beings. The scriptures mention 36 tribes of giants who fiercely fought for dominion over the Holy Land. These giant tribes were descendants of the Nephilim, the result of the crossbreeding between fallen angels and human women, as described in the Book of Enoch. Some of the Nephilim managed to survive the catastrophic flood, ensuring the continuation of their lineage. Among these survivors were the Amalekites, a giant tribe that originated in southern Arabia and later migrated to modern-day Israel. It is plausible that the Amalekites carried within their giant veins a pure strain of Nephilim DNA, connecting them to their ancient heritage. In Numbers 13.28, the Amalekites are confirmed as direct descendants of the Nephilim, the oldest race of giants who gave birth to the Anakim, also known as the sons of Anak. The Moabites referred to them as Amim, the Ammonites called them Zamzamim, and the Rephaim, or Anakites, were giant biblical people who thrived during Abraham's time. Inhabiting both Palestine and Moab, their imposing presence left an indelible mark on the land, even though the prophet Isaiah declared their destruction and the erasure of their memory. Mysterious Genetic Discoveries and the Enigma of Ancient Giants In 2018, a groundbreaking genetic study published in the journal Nature by Harvard researchers revealed that shortly after the construction of Stonehenge, the ancient inhabitants of Britain mysteriously vanished from the British Isles, leaving behind virtually no DNA in the modern British population. The study suggests a rapid population replacement where the genetic signature of the Neolithic inhabitants disappeared, making way for a new human culture. This astonishing discovery shook the foundations of civilization and raised many questions about our ancient past. But this wasn't the only mysterious genetic discovery. In 1998, 
researchers at Emory University were analyzing DNA data from various Native American populations in an attempt to trace their ancestral descent to the Bering Strait. They discovered a small portion of the native population fell outside any known genetic group, known as the X haplogroup, found in Native American groups, as well as in a small population of Northern Europeans and the Middle East. The lack of connection between these groups raised questions about the indigeneity and ancestral origins of these individuals. The Creole Mound Excavation, led by the Smithsonian, uncovered an elaborate tomb with multiple burials arranged around a central figure. Although the central burial skull was damaged, the measurements indicated a height of around 7 feet. This discovery, along with numerous other giants found in the valley, contradicted the accepted model of human evolution and was later denied by the Smithsonian. However, Native American legends, biblical references to the Nephilim, and the possibility of extraterrestrial DNA in these giants continue to fuel the mystery surrounding their true identity and origin. The suppressed evidence and ongoing archaeological enigma compel us to question the existence of a lost race of giants, the Watchers and the Nephilim. The tantalizing possibility of an extraterrestrial connection and the persistent gaps in our understanding of human evolution pushes us to unravel the secrets hidden within our ancient past. The stunning proof of extinct giants leaves us with more questions than answers, but it's a fascinating topic that continues to capture the imagination of many. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share the video.